Please enjoy this free clip of the No Spin News to watch the full episode. You have to become a BillOReilly.com premium member, but it's fun. Simply visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today. So Joe Biden uh, schedules a speech. At first, it was at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Then we got an um, alert. It was at 1 p.m. Eastern time. And he shows up an hour and 20 minutes late at 2.20. Now, this shows a lack of of discipline on the part of the White House. So all I can tell you is I do not believe the White House is being run efficiently at this moment in history. The second thing is that Mr. Biden read the speech off the teleprompter, but he read it too quickly. This is an important speech. Everybody in the world was paying attention to this. And he was motoring through it. A lot of times it didn't even seem like he knew what he was saying. But I'm not going to hammer Biden on the speech because I thought it wasn't quite specific enough or explanatory enough. But it was a good first step. So the first thing are the sanctions. What the United States and NATO can do is deny Russia the dollar and the Europe and the euro. All right. So that's what Biden's first sanction will be. Roll it. That means we've cut off Russia's government from Western financing. It can no longer raise money from the West and cannot trade in its new debt on our markets or European markets either. Okay, now that is significant because any government needs to borrow money at times and to negotiate their debt, have people invest in Russia, that kind of thing. You need that. That's gone, according to Biden. And I believe that will happen. The next step, though, that I would have taken had I been president would be, say, the United States banks are not going to accept any transactions from Russia. That means MasterCard, American Express, Visa. You go to Russia, you can't put anything on your card. We're not going to accept it. Now, maybe that's coming, but it should have been stated, in my humble opinion. The second soundbite was a mixed message, okay? So Biden is petrified of actual U.S. soldiers and military being involved with Russian military. It's the last thing on earth Biden wants, and he's right. You want to get a shooting war with these people, particularly over Ukraine. Okay, I I concur, is what he said. We have no intention of fighting Russia. We want to send an unmistakable message, though, that the United States, together with our allies, will defend every inch of NATO territory. Okay, remember, Ukraine is not NATO. So the message is mixed. It's like, okay, Vlad, you're going to invade uh, Ukraine. We're going to strangle you economically, but we're not going to fight you. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's noticed everything is getting more expensive. We are in the biggest economic crisis since 2008. With a government that's printing trillions of dollars, Consumer prices at the highest we've seen in 30 years. Inflation certainly here. And if the government continues its out-of-control printing and spending, the dollar could continue its freefall and lose its coveted role as the world's reserve currency. While paper money will eventually have a shrinkage in value, there are real tangible things that will always maintain value. So how do you protect your money, your retirement, your savings? American Hartford Gold can show you how to hedge your hard-earned savings against inflation by helping you diversify a portion of your portfolio into physical gold and silver. All it takes to get started is a short phone call, and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. Plus, tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they'll give you up to 2500 bucks of free silver on your first order. 
So please don't wait. Call them now, 866-501-5201, 866-501-5201, or text BILL to 65532. Again, 866-501-5201, or text BILL to 65532. Bill O'Reilly here. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you subscribe to the First TV YouTube page. Just hit the big red subscribe button below and you'll get clips and highlights of my program, The No Spin News, every single day. We'll see you soon.